And I'm here with the video like always Like promise which is throughout all of my videos Before I start today's videos Which you know it's going to be about me Getting to my first school altercation Um yeah So I have some information before I start the video So So um Yeah so As I said in the last video Well the video that I posted yesterday About you know How you guys came towards me Fuck y'all. <laughs> I mean, just all I have to say. Fuck y'all. I'm really like, I'm really new to subscribers, but I'm not mad though. It's fine. I'm fine. It's just, I have, I feel like I have to put myself more out there. But, yeah, before I start today's video, just know, never bully anybody. Because I used to be bullied a lot when I was younger because I felt like, oh, I wasn't, I was too skinny or I was too ugly to even have a boyfriend. But now here I am, thicker and I'm prettier. All the niggas want me, but. I just don't want them. So, yeah, just don't bully anybody. Bullying's not okay. Bullying's not where it's at. Really. I don't fuck with bullies. But if you guys want to be noticed by me, Armani Bay, if you guys want to be noticed by me, make sure you guys follow me right now. Pause this video. Follow me on all my social medias. Link in the description down below. Not the link, but I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's going to be in the description down below. Make sure you guys go follow me on all my social medias. Add me on Snapchat. You know, add me. Follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, and send me a really nice text to my Snapchat and Instagram, and it will be at the end of the video. Send me a really nice text, and maybe it'll be in my video, which will be, yeah, maybe it'll be in my video tomorrow. But do that, you guys. Do that, and I will love you guys forever. Get into this. So, let me see. The fight was in 2017. So, it was a girl, we're going to call her Lala. It was a girl named Lala. And I had a boyfriend named... Bookbag. Okay. I had a boyfriend named Bookbag. I'm not going to say the real name because I don't want to do that. So, I had a boyfriend named Bookbag. So, me and Bookbag has been together for a long, periodically time. So... When me and Bookbag, because me, Bookbag, and Lala had the same class, uh, had the same advisory class. So, one day, one day, Lala and Bookbag was talking, but talking on a different level. So, I looked at Lala, and I gave her this look. That's that stop talking to my nigga look. But, Lala, but it came back to Lala that... I gave her a really, really nastier look than what I just showed you guys. So, not only through that day, I was having altercations with another person that goes to that school, another female at that school, and I was trying to clear it up for her. So, yeah. Um, um, so, book bag was what I heard from everybody at the school that book bag was messing with multiple girls. But over the time, book bag got his stuff together. But book bag was messing with multiple girls and stuff while he was still with me. So, that's why I had an issue. That's why we had an issue because I thought he was doing it right in front of my face. But I guess he wasn't. So, what I cleared to find out after the fight. No, not after the fight, but people was telling me that book bag was trying to have me set up to be false by a girl. And for what reason, I don't know why, but when I asked book bag about it, he said that he was going to have somebody fight me, but still was going to be with me. But me being so dumb, I still stayed with book bag after he tried to have somebody fight me. But... I'm not with book bag anymore. Because when once a book bag gets old, you got to throw it away get a new one, right? <laughs> but, yeah. So, book bag, he wanted to have somebody fight me, which was Lala. So, when they were on the bus, I guess, because I don't ride the bus with Lala and book bag. When they were on the bus, book bag was like, I wanted somebody, I need somebody to fight. 
or something like that. He said he needed somebody to fight me. And, you know, Lala volunteered because, obviously, I don't know why she volunteered, but she volunteered to fight me. And... I guess it's because she liked it, book bag, and I was with book bag. And not only did she just like book bag, she liked it me too. But I did not like it. <laughs> so book bag and Lala, book bag told Lala to do what she do. So Lala, the next day, Lala, I came in through the doors. Lala was sitting at the lunch table with a couple of her other friends. I guess she was trying to hype her friends up and let her friends hype her up, and it got hyped. Right. So, I grabbed a friend that I was beefing with, that I wasn't beefing with, that I had an altercation with, and I grabbed her, and Lala was calling my name from the side. I wasn't trying to pay attention to her, because I didn't know that we were going to fight that day yet. So, I grabbed my friend, and we walked we walked down the hallway so I could talk to her in private about what happened. So, I talked to her in private about what happened. We got over it, me and my friend. So, I'm walking up the stairs, and another quote-unquote friend of mine walked up to me and said um Lala looking for you so I was like huh Lala looking for me and I was like yeah so the quote-unquote my friend came up to me she just say oh she was gonna fight you or nothing like that so this is why mostly I don't miss with nobody from that school anymore sorry to say but I just don't so I found Lala me and Lala we met up in the middle of the hallway because the hallway is like two separate hallways it's like that side and it's this side and it comes into like a big school rectangle right here so that's where we were so um yeah so she like she was like oh i heard you looking at me the wrong way so pause right here bitch i looked at you the wrong way <laughs> the wrong way really really so you finna fight me because i looked at you but i don't know no scary shit i was just trying to keep it on honey because i wouldn't i ain't no scary ass bitch i keep it a book with everybody if i looked at you a certain way then i looked at you a certain way if i didn't look at you a certain way i didn't look at you a certain way so i looked at her a certain way and i said that so the bitch excuse me <laughs> but the bitch she was taking off her fucking ugly ass book bag she's taking her book bag off and when she's taking her book bag off i was like okay so this is really gonna happen so mind you i had my braids i had some really long braids and they were kind of getting old so i had some really long braids and you know when you don't put your shit up your shit can be put out and the bitch barely had hair so because like we was both being bald today so the bitch um she fucking took off her book bag so i guess she let the people hype her up so i look the teacher got in between us and we was talking shit like over the teacher because the teacher's like my height and i'm really small so i look towards this way no i looked at, i think i was looking at the teacher or i looked this way and then that bitch moves her hand around the teacher to hit me when she hit me i looked at her and then we were just fighting she grabbed me i think she grabbed my hair or something she grabbed my hair then i grabbed her she grabbed a hold of her shit and i was pulling us I was like pulling us like towards the I wanted to pull us down so I was walking backwards as I'm pulling her hair I think she was hitting me at the same time so then that's when we got that's when we like went around in a circle and my first intention where I fucked up at was when she had my hair I wanted to pick that bitch up because I can really I'm a really heavy I'm not really heavy but I got I got some I can got some grip. I can pick some shit up now. So, I wanted to pick the bitch up and slam her. That's why I fucked up that. Because if I would have did that, I would have, 9 times out of 10, just wanted to fight. It wouldn't have been no time. So, I should have just picked the bitch up, wrestled through that bitch down. But instead of that, I didn't wasn't thinking that much. When you think, you, when you fight, you don't really think. So, when, as the bitch hitting me, and she hitting me all up in my motherfucking head. Like, she hitting me all up in my head and in my neck and shit. But, like, when she first grabbed my hair, she was hitting me, like, in my head and shit. But I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool, bitch, that's cool, that's cool. So, I'm grabbing her and shit. I'm grabbing her by her hair as we fucking fighting. As we fighting, we fucking, like, we get down. I think I was finna fall, I'm not sure, because somebody was too fucking close on me. There was so many people on me. But... The bitch, I fucking, it was a pair of shoes that I fucking had to throw away because every time, every time I wear these pairs of shoes, I fucking had bad luck. It was either I was finna get into a fight or, or something bad was finna happen. I always wear those shoes. So there was some black glittery, boom. The bitch, she fucking, what did she do? Yeah, so I grabbed her by her hair and we was fucking just like, we was like, we was like wrestling and the bitch tried to kick me and she wasn't kicking me i was up cutting the hole and shit they broke us up so as i felt f 
fucking offended. So, because I feel like she came from my life. So, I told the bitch I was going to kill her. I said I was going to kill you, bitch. So, the teacher was pulling me up. So, I saw the bitch in the hallway because I guess she was going to go home. I told the bitch I was going to kill her. So, I guess she had a week out of school and I had like two days or something. So, I came back the next day ready to fight. No, not ready to fight, ready to kill her. So I had my motherfucking jacket on, had like three pairs of pants, I had on my stump bitch boots on, because I was gonna stump that hoe out. So, fucking find out the bitch didn't come. The bitch didn't come for about, what, a week? It all. Uh, it all. Uh, like, it all. Uh. So I was wondering why. So when I finally saw her ass, uh, we had to have a whole fucking conference because the, the people already knew what I was on. They knew I was ready to come back, take that bitch head off, come in to kill her. They already knew. So, my teacher was, my plan was to wait too, because after we come up from eating lunch, we go upstairs to go freaking, what do we do? We go eat. No, we go to class, and we have to go upstairs, come up from the back, and beat the shit out of her. But, without further ado, I'm going to end this video on a good note. If you guys like today's videos, make sure you guys like my video down below, or dislike it, I won't be mad. But like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you guys go, go follow my social medias and if you guys like me and like what I do make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell I do stuff like this all the time and um for all you people that's out there talking all that shit um throw them hands when I see you bitch cause I'm ready okay just letting you know I'm ready cause since you don't like me so much bitch okay I'm not mad bitch do what you do bitch go ahead do your thing do your thing but when I see you bitch be ready okay but without further ado, I'm going to end this video. I love you, best squad. And you know this, honey.